two cells united to form an organism from one male and one female cells that produced by the meiosis together form an organism in that we can see the homologous chromosomes homologous chromosomes mean each pair that coming from each parent and have the same shape and size here i drew one picture of homologous chromosome homologous chromosome meaning chromosomes of same shape and size that came from each parent that bear pair of genes on it there are thousands of genes are present in chromosomes then each gene that pair of in that gene each that come from each allele we can see the chromosome uh, have several genes there there may be genes coming from each parent here you can see the pair of genes here uh, representing certain genes here the certain letters are given for the representing the each gene is represented by these letters so we can see the alternative forms also may be present in case of genes uh, sometimes the gene for determining the color of the baby may be dark color from father may be light color from mother such uh, things may happen genes may have alternative forms you learned it in the alleles the term you learn about the alleles and different kinds of alleles you learn that determine sometimes there may be the allele may represent the right hand right handness or left handness or color of the eye may be blue or brown such things may be determined by the allele here you can see the allele of this chromosome the first alleles are represented by capital a and capital b here the second allele is represented by small b and small b here the third allele is represented by capital c and small c and the fourth allele is represented by small d and capital d in a in genetics usually certain alleles are the alleles are represented by capital letters and small letters in genetics then again the capital letter represent certain dominant allele or the character that are super ruling is super ruling characters may be sometimes the color of darkness may be from father and the light color may be from mother sometimes that allele that representing the light color may be the dominant if the if that is the dominant the color of the baby may be light color the skin color may be light so certain alleles may be dominant and the dominant alleles are represented by letter capital letters are representing the dominant alleles and the recessive allele some alleles the if even though the allele is present in inside our body or that particular gene may be present in our inside our body that character may not be expressed externally such characters are known as recessive allele here you can see two capital alleles are there here so that character may be expressed in the organism then another important thing if the character both if the a particular allele if that is a recessive allele if both pair are recessive then only that character may be expressed in that individual here you can see two different kinds of alleles are there one is capital d and one is small d the capital d is representing the dominant character and small d is representing the recessive character then the uh, 
character uh, expressed the allele that can express this only the capital D. This feature only expressed in the body of organism even though it is containing the character small d in their body. So, if uh, we can say the term homozygous dominant capital A and capital A we can represent as homozygous dominant and here you can see a capital C and small c is there or small d and capital D, are, d is there. This we can represent as heterozygous dominant and here you can see small b and small b here. In this case we can say that it is homozygous recessive. In the homozygous recessive can recessive can express if the both the genes are recessive we call it homozygous recessive. A recessive character can express only if the genes are both the if the if both the genes are recessive then only a recessive character can express it inside the body. Here another pairs of genes I uh, uh, wrote here. Uh, you might have observed some uh, people can roll their tongue. That they can uh, roll their tongue as a tube like structure in some people. But if some try they cannot roll their tongue. Uh, the picture of the tongue rolling it is uh, shown in your textbook. You can uh, uh, check it in your family members itself. You can yourself and you can see uh, uh, the tongue rolling. If you ask your family members, they may also show uh, whether they can roll their tongue or not. You can observe it. The tongue rolling. Uh, some people cannot roll their tongue. Tongue rolling we can represent it by the gene capital R and capital R. The capital R is the gene that represent the rolling of the tongue. Then capital R and capital R that is tongue roller. This is homozygous dominant. Tongue rolling character is a dominant character. The dominant allele capital R and capital R is representing the homozygous dominant individual. If one individual from uh, one member of the parent he got capital R and from other he may got he may get small r then capital R and small r it is a heterozygous dominant. This person also can roll his or her tongue. This person also can roll their tongue because a dominant gene is present in his in his body. This small r cannot express. It may be suppressed by this super ruling gene. Then the small r, small r, it is representing the non-roller. In this condition only, the non-roller can express, express, this gene can express its character only if they are homozygous in condition. Then they express the character of an even though both kind of genes are present in this individual, only the tongue rolling may be expressed by the individual. This kind of uh, 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 the expressed character is known as the phenotype of an organism. Then the genes present in this organism is capital R and small r. This genetic condition of the individual is known as genotype. The expressed character is known as the phenotype and the genetic constitution of an individual is known as genotype. Phenotype is the expressed character and genotype is the genetic constitution of an individual.